Today we're going to take a look at how to make our own clay body for use in ceramic pottery. But before we do that, we're going to need to understand a little bit more about what the clay actually is and how it works. So what is clay exactly? What makes this clay right here so much different from this soil that comes straight out of the ground? They're both naturally occurring materials. They both originate in the ground. So what makes them so different? Obviously, the soil that I pulled out of my flower garden is crumbly. It's full of sticks and dirt and other organic materials. This clay, however, is slick. Uh, the particles stick together. It's really sticky. And most importantly, when I mush it, it holds its shape. That property is called plasticity. It's the plasticity of the clay that allows it to be formed and shaped and to hold its shape. And we can form it into things like uh, ceramic vessels or sculptures. So what is it about the clay that gives it that plastic property? Uh, clay is made up of decomposed feldspathic rocks, rocks like granite. Now, most mountains are made of granite. So over eons of time, erosion occurs. Rain falls on a mountain, washes small particles down into streams, which then get washed into rivers, which then get washed into lakes. And these dense particles settle out and become a, a sedimentary material on the bottom of the lake bed. That's how clay deposits are formed. Uh, in areas of the world where there are older mountains, like the southern Appalachians, for instance, there's a lot of natural clay in the, in the ground there because a lot of that erosion has occurred over eons of time. Um, so the particles of clay are shaped like small flat platelets, um, similar to flecks of mica. If you look at a clay particle under an electron microscope, it looks like lots of little pieces, uh, flat pieces stacked on top of each other. And if you've ever taken two pieces of glass, maybe you did this in science class with a slide or, uh, or something like that, and put it together with some water in between, that surface tension in between those two pieces of glass really makes it difficult to pull that glass apart but they slide back and forth on top of each other really, really easily. So that's the, kind, the same principle uh, that's occurring in the clay between those particles, uh, flat platelet-like particles of clay. The water tension, the surface tension of the water in between those flat particles allows it to expand and contract, be manipulated, and yet continue to hold its shape.